Hi everybody, I'm going to explain to you the seven costs which are incurred by all businesses. These are the main seven ones, fixed costs, variable costs, total costs, marginal cost, and then we have average fixed costs, average variable costs, and average total costs. And there are also two extra ones that you can add in, which are total fixed costs and total variable costs. Let's imagine that you have a cafe and the cafe will face some fixed costs. These are costs which are going to stay the same regardless of the level of output. So it doesn't matter if you have one customer in your cafe or you have a hundred customers in your cafe, your fixed costs are always going to be the same. So for example, in your cafe, your fixed costs might be paying the rent they might also be paying your insurance. So in case you give someone food poisoning or one of your chefs drops something on their toe and they need insurance to cover them, that insurance will be paid every month probably or possibly once a year. And also your rent will probably be paid once a month or once a year. And you might also do some advertising for your restaurant and again, this will be paid monthly or annually. And also, you'll be paying wages, for instance, to your manager of the restaurant. It doesn't matter whether you have one customer or 10 customers or 100 customers. Your rent, your insurance, your advertising, your wages are always going to stay the same. So it doesn't matter how many customers, how much output you have, you're still going to pay the same fixed costs. Your total fixed costs are just adding together all of your fixed costs. So whatever, in this case, you're paying for rent, for insurance, for advertising, for wages. They're your total fixed costs. Then we can move on to variable costs. These vary or change with output. So this means that every time you have an additional customer, so one additional customer, will cause your business to incur additional costs. So your business is having to spend more money on some things every time you have another customer. So for example, that might be paying for the food that you're going to cook and the drink that you're going to serve to your customer. Because every time a customer comes in and they buy something, you're going to be serving them food or drink and you had to pay for that. If you want to know what your total variable costs are, you'll look at what they are at the level of output that you are producing. So it might be that you have 10 customers, so you need to find out what your variable costs are for each customer and you add them together to get your total variable costs. Next is total costs and this one is just going to be your total fixed costs plus your total variable costs. That's how you work out your total costs. When you're looking at your fixed costs, your variable costs, your total costs, you can also look at the average fixed variable or total cost. And if you're working out the average, you're just dividing by the level of output. So you need to look at how many people you're serving in your cafe and you divide by that number. So your average fixed costs are just going to be your total fixed costs divided by output. Your average variable costs are going to be your total variable costs divided by output and your average total costs are going to be your total costs divided by output. The final piece of the jigsaw puzzle, it's a little bit different, is your marginal cost. Remember that in economics, when you're talking about the margin, like the margin on a piece of paper, it's an additional amount of something, in this case of output. So for example, if you were to serve 10 more customers, you'd be asking, what would this do to your 
fixed costs, sorry, your total costs. So how are total costs affected? So for example, if your total costs for one unit are 80, but if you're making two units, your total costs are 90, that will mean that your marginal cost of producing your second unit is 10. Because when you go from one unit to two units, you add 10 to your total costs. So over here, you might say if you serve 10 more customers, not just one more customer, but 10 more customers, what happens to your total costs? So you're looking at the change in the total costs. So likewise, if you wanted to know the change going from three customers, sorry, two customers to three customers, it might go from 90 to 110. And in this case, you're adding on 20 to your total cost. So this means that your marginal cost is 20. Going from one to two, your marginal cost is 10. Going from two to three, your marginal cost is 20. And the formula to work out your marginal cost is your change in your total cost divided by the change in output.